Stay there. Exactly. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm checking a couple of things. Yes. Okay, fantastic. All good. All amazing. We can start. So as I was saying today, um, we're going to start the correction. Yeah. So let me open the and share the screen. Going to start with Laura. Okay, the first one to send me the uh, works, and then it is Angela. Yes. Last but not least. Um, just saying everything I say. Yes. They're all teachers here, okay? So, although I'm, I'm going to do some corrections here, feel free to pop in, yes? And Iris and Georgios, when I'm correcting Laura, you're, you're also correcting, yes? I mean, this is a, a teamwork, okay? Okay, so Laura, um, so you, you, you did uh, in F major, then 10 bars, uh, the, the climax is very clear, very good, yes, and also in the second half, very well balanced. Then um, you have, when you say prolongation, because the climax is, is very easy to see, I mean, it's, it's one point, yes, but when you say prolongation, how many bars? Uh, um, it's from. Are we talking the about one B. from the one B to the one? It's the four bars. Okay, one, two, three, four from here. Yeah. Okay, and then because this is this one B to here, which is the purpose? Let me see. Which is the purpose of the prolongation? Your ears. Wow, that's a very what? deep question. I know. Well, that's why I'm, 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 I'm. The purpose of the prolongation. The purpose of the prolongation, yeah. Well. The function of the prolongation. Oh, wow, now I have to. No, uh, you have to think now. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> uh, how to develop to present usually? To present. Look. Extended to do something else. The name, the, the name, the name contains the answer. The name prolongation contains the answer. It is. Any thoughts? Hello, Iris. Are you there? Hello. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. No? You mean what it does or why we do? Why, it, why do we do it? The function, the purpose, exactly. Well, it keeps the same harmony. The same harmony. I, to, to I mean, she's in a lot in the name as well. Prolongation. Actually, in the verb. Prolong. Prolongation now comes from that what? Prolong. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, but what does that mean? Prolongs a harmony. That the, let's start yes. from there. That's what yes. it does, yes. And why does it, it does. do that? And why? Yes, it also, Laura, this is So, prolongs a harmony. So, in which case, presumably, you want it to prolong from the uh, fast in the version of the tonic to the root position, yeah? Okay, good. Now, and why would you do this? To prolong the harmony in this place, for example. Let's, let's, let's focus it here. Let's focus here. Because it's, it's heading towards the climax. And then, if we prolong a harmony, yes, which are the um, tools, yes, the medium, the, the, uh, the means of prolonging a harmony? So, wh which devices do we use to prolong a harmony? 
This is more for Iris and Georgios because because they they studied yeah. the the chapter of the first chapter of the Cato. Yeah, not not so much for Laura. Yeah, but for for you, Laura, it's going to be useful. Yeah. So which are the devices? Yes, with which we use. Yes, this this prolongation. I assume you're going towards okay. uh, inversions are useful because yes, uh, what is inverted is usually um, how do you say it? Um, we care. Yes, yes, very good. It is more important what is not inverted, what is in the root position. Very good. Or if we want to pre to prolong the tonic, we would put tonic in the root position. That's one way to do it. Good. So the clearest way, yes, is from root from root position to root position. That's why when you put prolongation, I was not very sure, Laura, if it's prolongation from here to here, yes, or it was a change in position from because this is also a case, yes, from the uh, first inversion to the root position. Now there's another device. It is. Do you do you know them? The what? Uh, another de devices or, 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 or means, let's say, uh, uh, in which we, we use um, prolongation. I'm, I'm more, more, don't worry about Schoenberg, yes, yes, but it's more related to, to Kapling, yes. I mean, we were trying to also, when we started, you know, although we were, we are using the, the Schoenberg book, but we we're trying to connect the dot. Yes. Um, so, any any more resources that you have? I mean, using inversion, yes. Yeah, this is a, like according to Schoenberg, yes, is it would be the answer. The use of inversions, that's for sure. Yes, because as you said the the chord in in an inversion the harmonic is weaker. It's if you want to prolong something, the chord that is that is prolonged has to be in root position, and the rest of the chords. In inversions, because those chords are going to be weaker. Yeah. So, remember, Kapling, first chapter. We have to know everything, eh? All the chapters. This is like a we stack them. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, I I know what you're talking about, but thing else comes to my mind about the prolongation. Prolongation. You have petals. You have neighboring chords. You have passing chords. Okay, but that's secondary chords. Sorry. Secondary replacement chords. Mm, you have a uh, careful with the, the word secondary. Hmm. Replacement, I said. Replacement. I guess it still comes like subordinate mm. harmony. Subordinate. Ah, I mean, subordinate. Okay. Harmony. I mean, the fact that you're replacing. Is, is, a, is, is a given. Uh, and the secondary can be confused with secondary dominant. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's why. Okay, and I, I know what you, you meant. But, so prolonged harmony also is, is um, uh, we can use uh, subordinate harmonies. Uh, Laura, subordinate harmonies is when you have, for example, tonic, and the subordinate harmony is the sixth degree, which has two notes in common, which are the most important ones, which is the root and the third. Yeah, for example, C major and A minor, yeah, they have in common C and E, yes, with the tonic. So the A minor is subordinate to, to C, yes, so can we replace, yes, um, for example, let's say, I think it was it is in the in the in the next uh, exercise that use subordinate harmony use a six. Imagine, yes, if you have a tonic, yes in your case, F A C yeah, the sixth degree is going to be minor. And then if you use an inversion, you have F A C. Yes. So you prolong that 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 root, yeah, and then you come back to the same chord, yeah. See what I meant, more or less. Now, 
My question is, you have one, five, five, one. First of all, try not to repeat chords. Yes, I think that you wanted, because it was a prolongation, you wanted like the bass to be a kind of a neighboring, double neighboring. Okay, good. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to see what you want to, to do, yes? So if you have kind of a change in position and then neighboring the chord towards this, yes? That explains a lot. But in that case, try to use another chord. Same bass, let's say, maybe, yeah? But another chord. Yes, not five, five, one, yeah? And then... Um, the arrival at the climax in good position, maybe you want it because it was an important moment. But, but as well as the but, <laughs> um, when, now I'm going to listen to it, yes, I hope that, can you listen to the notes, guys? Yes, okay. We're going to see that the arrival, yes, the, the climax is, is perceived because of this, because of the insistence, yes, of the fifth and the arrival from the um, first inversion to a uh, root position, kind of like a cadence, not a like climax. Climax is a um, uh, kind of a, a climax is not a point of arrival. We're going, now we're going to see, yes? A few things that they are not, um, they're minor things, part of it, part of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if it's when you have, uh, it just learn how to spot them quicker. Yes. And also um, here you have. <clears throat> what what do you let, let me see? It is or your yes. What's happening here? It's the mm, either crossing the voices or overlapping. Wait, overlapping. I stick with it. Overlapping, very good, Yorios. And, 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 and mm, hidden fifth, but uh, a hidden fifth. overlapping is more important than this. Uh, yes. Exactly. Yes. So, yeah. You see what, what I mean? Why, why do we say, uh, why Yorios do we say overlapping of the voices? Is it? Oh. Let me see, Laura. No, no. Yeah, Laura, come on. It's, 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 your, it's your exercise. Is it because the G in the bass, higher than the tenor in the previous bar. Okay, is that correct, Gilgios? Uh, actually, yes. Yes, exactly, yeah. And then you, you see when, uh, my suggestion also, Laura, is when you when you finish, or not when you finish, but try to do it bar by bar by bar and double check and triple check and quadruple check, yes, because then it's very, if you spot, if you, if once you, you, you finish, you zoom out, let's say, and you see, let's say, a hidden fifth or baroque, it is extremely hard to go back and amend something. Because then everything else is going to be influenced. Yes? Is, is, is there truly interwoven the notes? Yes? But when you see it chord by chord by chord, let's say you have a chord and then a second chord, maybe three bars, zoom out a little bit. Yes? This, this, Visually, yeah, pops up when, when you get used to it. No. <laughs> uh, very good, uh, also, but but very good the um, uh, the treatment of the body. Yes, this is very well done. This is prepared with the consonants, and it will be soft when it's uh, lower. That's uh, that's great. And also, in this case, there's something that doesn't come. Doesn't convince me a lot. This chord. We said something about the seventh degree with the seven last time. It is. What did we say? You need to prepare the seventh and also eliminate the fifth. Exactly. Very good, it is. This is a diminished fifth. So this is a, the, this note as well as the D which you prepared and then you resolved and that's fantastic, yeah. 
It mm. has to be prepared. Yeah. Uh, you could have done. Well, we have to change completely, of course. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's why I think. Yes, mm. it can be B, but this B, then it has to be the fourth, and then it has to change. You cannot do this here anymore because this A should be prepared. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you do this and you prepare it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we're going to listen to it now entirely and then let's see what do you what do you think about the climax is this a climax or point of arrival You see? What did what happened here? Sounds like a kid, you're right. It sounds like a kid because it was it was but why it sounds like a kid? I'm not sure. I'm First not of sure. all, is very strong the, the fact that the that the soprano is, is having the living tone. Mm. That automatically. When you have even even I mean Despite the fact that the, that the fifth is not in good position, yeah, because usually, yeah, it's in good position. Uh, this is in a perfect cadence, yes, unless you're doing an abandoned cadence, yes, and you're weakening the fifth, but you know, yes, now, at least. Yeah, did you see that with one, right? Not yet. Yes, okay. <laughs> I think, yes, I, I, I was quite sure, but. <laughs> um, but the fact that it resolves in open position, yes, the bass and soprano, good, yes, and soprano, you have to, <clears throat> yeah, the, the uh, tonic, yes, the leading tone, and the preparation two bars before, yes, of this, it, it, it was a point of arrival, not a climax. The, yes, the melody is, is a climax, but uh, in music we, we talk about uh, we call it contributing elements, yes, uh, which is the melody, yes, the harmony, the sound itself, it can be the texture, it can be the sound itself. Um, it can be uh, the rhythm, or the rhythm of the harmony, the rhythm of the, the notes, yes, the rhythm in general, yes, and the growth, yes, which controls it. So, to be the climax, we have to make sure that not just one parameter, yes, one element is contributing. We have to do more, yes. And this is the same thing. I mean, not not when you do it actively, Laura, is when you're analyzing a piece. Yes, if you you always have that in your head, contributing elements. Yes, because when you see that all those elements are contributing to something, that moment is important. Fantastic, very well. Yeah. Uh, when we when we look at this exercise, not to put anyone like in front, yes, yeah, saying, "Oh my God, this is." Yes, we are all learning. When you spot something, yes, in, in some points work. Yes, it, it, it helps you. Yes. Now the same thing, Laura and uh, Georgios. Yes, you're going to do the same thing that Iris and Georgios did just now. Okay, Iris, Iris works. Iris works. Sorry. Well, first of all, I, I think that we, uh, I, I see with, with, with good eyes, yes, uh, that it is, uh, is very interesting in the, in the line. Yes? Why? Because clearly, yes, everything goes to a climax and then down. Clearly. And also there's a kind of a, a harmonic rhythm playing here. Because you have savory, 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 savory. So, start slower, accelerate slow again. So, in general terms, yes, good. It is always, I mean, I I think I know that the climate is here. I think. Yes. <laughs> 
But for example, if you if you're doing a prolongation, write it down. Yes, because most probably I will know. Yes, but I want to see if I mean where. For example, did you do any prolongation here? I might, but I, didn't I might. I might. What, what is that answer? <laughs> so if I did, I didn't do it on purpose. Uh huh. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I, so I guess from the beginning, right? Yes, but in order to, but when you say beginning, how many bars? Yeah, no, not many. Um, well, first, bars, I could think about the tonic prolongation, mm. but then, no. The tonic prolongation, in this case, yes, which device would, would that be? Yes. The um, inversions. The, yeah, but right, but like, they were important. Uh, when you when you say inversion, first of all, I don't know what is this. Is it? What's that? I don't know what is that either. I'm not sure if one 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 one. Turning 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 turning. I think I didn't write. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what happened. Maybe I I they start at some point without wanting. That shouldn't be there. Okay, and then I know this is very easy, but we have to be very tidy, yes, in, in this world. And I have not the word for it. Uh, yeah, be very tidy with your work. Yeah, please. Okay, so if this is tonic prolongation, yeah, if this is tonic prolongation, first of all, this is 464. Yes, six four. Uh, so it's a, it's a single version. And then, what do you need in if you want a tonic prolongation? Yeah, what do you need here? In order to comply with the rules of the tonic prolongation, we have one four six four. Anyone, eh? Georgios, Laura, whoever. Uh, either a tonic again. I would use an epic uh, second in third inversion. Oh. I think you, you already used it. Yes, but it's, it's calling for it right there. Yes. Uh, but uh, tonic. Tonic would be cancelling any uh, cadence feeling that is there. Yeah. Children. Yes, tonic is the most usual. Imagine that you come, you come, you go back to the same chord like this. Imagine this chord here. Yeah, you go back to it's a, basically it's a pedal on the tonic using yes um, an inversion. Yes, remember that especially specifically in this case. When you have 464, what happened with this, this I mean, and this is re, re, relating with, uh, with Schoenberg book specifically. When you have a chord that it has in, in second inversion, what happens with the bass? Where does it want, want to go? Huh? When you have a chord in second inversion, yes? So you have one, imagine they have one, 464, or yes, 464, and then coming back to the one. Yes. Why so strong this prolongation? What relating to the book of chamber? Yes, of second inversion. Anyone? Why is this strong this prolongation? Yeah, yes. But trying to relate to, to, to the reason that chamber give uh, with a second inversion uh, chord. Uh, is it not what we said that uh, 
inverted are weaker. Yeah, but just very specific. When you have a second inversion, they are weaker, yes. When you have a second inversion, there's an urgency in the resolution, and the base in the, in the second inversion takes kind of charge. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it pushes, yes, and, and demands to be resolved in, in that harmony. So ah, yes, yes, in yes, a 464, yes. the yes. C note, the bass note, starts to say, I am the tonic, I, 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 am, I am the root. So mm -hmm. there's an urgency to resolve in that, in, in that particular uh, uh, chord. I mean, when I say chord is related to the to the bass note in this specific chord in six four. So in F in second inversion, if you see it's on the bass, there's an urgency to resolve in C major again. Yeah. So the best. Harmonic, harmonic wise, it would be the best option to go back to the one, yeah, to the tonic in, in reposition. Because if not, what you wanted to do here, it got dissolved a little bit. Yes? It's not bad, but it got dissolved a little bit. Yeah? Uh, now, I'm wondering about this note. It's prepared. I give you that. And also the four four is four. That was the base. Great. Great. Um, but after that, yes, you're good. It doesn't resolve. No, it doesn't resolve. I mean, let's say that like, if you do this. Yeah. I would have believed the prolongation a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, why? Because you have a neighboring note, let's say, on the on the on the bass, and results yeah. on a root position, and then well, this is that. Uh, Maybe okay. even hold the fa. Sorry. Maybe even hold the fa for the seventh of the dominant. And then holding the fa of the seventh, yes. Why not? Yes. Why not? Mm. Yeah. So we're going to listen to the this version and then I'm going to undo the changes and see the difference. Yeah? Oh. This is Edith's version. It was, it was too dramatic here. It was kind of a, it was a cadence in the middle of the, yeah? You see it is. You see the difference? Yeah, when you put, like, like we said with, with Georgos and the F, this is much softer, this is more prolongational than the other one was a cadence. And again, in the middle of the phrase, yes, what we are trying to do is, is connect harmony, yes, connecting harmony with, with the structure, because that's what harmony does, yes. In counterpoint, we're, we're treating the, more the melodic, Yes, the, the, the zooming in, the note against the note, the study of ornamentation, yes, what you put inside the face, yes, the big the big picture. But the harmony is the big picture. Yes, builds the form, yes, at least in tonal music, yes, from hundreds of years. So that's why I, 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 I my interest in use is, yes, you have to connect the chords, the rules, but also give this uh, sense of harmony is a building block of the form. That's what has sense. Yeah. Now, um, apart from that, yeah, I uh, have yeah, change in position. Great, amazing. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, I really like the, the way that you treated the um, the relation between the bass and the soprano. Yes, I mean the 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 arrival, let's say here. Yes. 
um, is pretty convincing through a change in position. Yeah. So if this chord, yeah, wasn't uh, a change in position, I would say, oh, this is too much of a leap in the bass. Yes. And but it was a change in position. That a change in position allows you to um, uh, to dramatically, yes, go up or, or you know or down um, through through the same harmony. So it was very clever. Now, um, prepare the sevens and resolve. You see, very good. <laughs> there you go. That is the way we prepare the sevens. <laughs> Um, then, um, very clever, yes, two and six, four, yes. Now, the cadence, yeah, the cadence. Because you have, you know, predominant or, you know, let's say, subordinate harmony of the, of the tonic, predominant, one, six, four, cadential, yes. 5-2, that resolves properly, actually, yeah, and then a 1. Now, it's kind of, again, like an abandoned cadence, you, you weaken mm -hmm. the, 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 the dominant. But I have the suspicion, yes, that there's no correlation between the harmonic rhythm and the resolution of this chord. I don't quite understand the correlation. I mean, if you tell me why did you do that, they will be much appreciated. Why, why, why this is your resolution? And then why the one again in change of position? Sorry? No, no, I see. Well, if I say the truth, I needed one more bar. I had seven bars. Yeah, and that was my like, suspicion. Yeah, and it was very late, and I had to send it. That was my suspicion. Yeah. Because it has no musical sense. It had to be another reason. Yes? Either you put a proper cadence with a, with a root position, yes? Because this is a change in position which is <clears throat> purely ornamental. Yes? I mean, you could just say, well, yes, cleverly, I, I maybe, yes, I, I, will, I will, kind of a deception or abandoned cadence, and later there's going to be another proper cadence. I would have accepted that. But this was not no sense. And usually, and specifically, because there's no proper cadence. When you don't have a root, you don't have a cadence. Yes? Simple as that. Yes? If you see the, 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 the works of masters at the end they always yes always make a case if not they do this yes abandon case but they I mean you need a, a, a motivic yes element to support the decision yeah? so next time yes support your decision and not being late but musically please at least but the ready part yes okay Georgios, this is your work. Da, da, da. I am very curious about these blue notes. I explained on the email. You can uh, yes. omit them. You can omit them. It will still make sense. I'm not, so it's correct. But I added extra. So it's extra. So I cannot judge. Eh? I cannot judge. Actually, it's, it's, it's beyond the, what we have seen. That's why the, the resolution is not a resolution of uh, going down. It's holding the same note. But I wanted to put it there either way. I'm sorry. So <laughs> you're am... just apologizing just in case. <laughs> yes. No, 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 some extra stuff in there. Uh, but so, but I'm sure you can omit them. I mean, sure if you delete them, it's fine. Yeah, no, well, well, we, we shouldn't because this is your work. Yes. Uh, but first of all, uh, for Laura and Iris, uh, this has a very specific structure. This, this, Thank um, you. Yeah, don't don't tell. Um, which theme type 
is is this structure. This is a uh, sorry. Because this is the, this actually, Georgios, this is not a proper coral. This is more homophonic chordal texture than a coral. As a chordal texture. Or that texture. You're using the 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 chords, but this is I'm, I'm, I'm saying very well done. I mean, the, why? Because the purpose of this this exercise was to be more melodic, and you took it, you know, quite seriously, uh, and then you try, not as a structural harmony, yes, but truly as a as a texture. <laughs> yeah. A coral. It's not, it's not, sorry, it's not a coral. It's, it's, it has a chordal texture. Yeah. So, Iris and, and, and Laura, this has a very a very specific uh, structure, according to the theme types in Cato. We can listen to it. The, like, the, and then period. I mean, those mm. are theme types. Sorry? Those those are theme types. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. so sentence, periods, hybrids, compound themes, whatever. I give you a way you haven't seen compound themes. No. no, but don't worry. This is not a compound theme. <laughs> I think it is though answered. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear. Ah, uh, yes, I was saying yes. I mean, I, I said period. Oh, very good, it is exactly fantastic. Yes, exactly. Yes, Laura, this is a a period because well, no, it is. Explain why. Um, because the basic idea, and then the contrast idea, and then the in the second line the basic idea again. The Return. Yes, but in order to be a period, because can, that can be a hybrid, a compound basic. Have an antecedent, consequent. You have antecedent and a consequent. Yes, but what what does it make that an antecedent and not a compound basic idea? Ah, uh, well, the harmony. Mm. Yes, and then go go a little bit deeper. Come on, come on, we can do it. <laughs> There's something going on in the bar four, <laughs> harmonic wise. Of course, we have the half cadence. Oh, <laughs> the half cadence. I have a beef against your half cadence, your yours, by the way. First of all, the half cadence is a period. Usually, it doesn't have a seven. Every opportunity had to put a seven. <laughs> I took it. <laughs> I, just said, I mean, very well done in the preparation of the seventh, by the way. But, and this, yes, I have a uh, bit that is related. Uh, Where is the G? Uh, oh. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah? Oh. oh, it was so well prepared. <laughs> it was so well clearly prepared. Now we have to resolve it. Yeah? I can do it, I can do it. Uh, but in Kaplan, it clearly, first of all, I mean, I'm, I know this is Schoenberg, but, you know, we're not compartmentalizing, yes, the studies. The half cadence has no seven, yes. Very well prepared, very cleverly prepared for the four and the second, amazing, but you have to respond. Yeah. And it's not before. Yeah. And then we're not going to touch this because actually, why we cannot, why cannot touch this? Because then... <laughs> But then we have to change the next approach. We have to change everything. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. The seventh that is, is it was prepared, but it was prepared by the way. Yeah, very good. Yeah, I think if we just switch the. No. Yeah, switch the voices. If the switch of the, the voices can work. Yeah. Absolutely. The overlapping will occur, so we have to change the inversion. Ugh. Uh, that's right. why. Yeah. So. I can do it. I can do it in like uh, thirty seconds if you give me. Don't worry. I mean, I understand you can do it. Yes, yeah. but just saying. Um, very well done, this uh, preparation of the, um, yeah, right. you see Lauren uh, and Iris, it's a, it's a, through, yes, 
the, the, the last inversion, which is the seventh in the base, resolution, the resolution towards uh, the, the first inversion of the uh, tonic, yes, but prepared on the base. This was a problem that uh, Laura had, yes, that you put a, a, an inversion that then um, you have to resolve properly, but you have to prepare it and resolve it, yes. And in your case, Laura, you, you also you leave. Yes, you didn't resolve it down. I don't know if you remember here. That here, yeah, if you put a seven, then you have to go to the passing version. Yes, and then, I mean, repairing it, and, uh, yeah, let's say this, very fast. But this would have been a better option. Yeah? So he did that, but he resolved properly and, and prepared properly. So it can be done. Yeah? And then, uh, very well done, the resolutions here, amazing, very good, very good, very good. Quite good. good. At the same time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Yes, mm -hmm. very, 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 very good. Yes. Beep, beep, <laughs> Now, before we carry on, girls, I can't believe that you missed this one. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Just one poor fix. It's fine. It's good. I, I forgive you. Um, now, okay. Seven here, no? So... It's all a neighboring chord, the whole second, and it it's just nothing. But, but it, 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 so what I have learned, eh, what I have learned okay. is on occasions the seventh can resolve step down yes. and harmonically or stay on the same note. In which occasions is that? In prolongation and stuff like that. It is the next one as well. It's not a real chord, you can omit it. It's just a neighboring notes, basically. That's what's happening. Yes, they can be held, yes, because in this case you have an E, yes, for Laura, for it is. Usually we say it has to resolve later, to be honest. Uh, it, that's my beef. Actually, I mean, it's, it's a very clear thing. I mean, what I see in this work, which I see uh, with, with an, uh, an, in very, very happy way, yes, is, uh, and this is something that I, 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 I totally, totally go in favor, and this is applies to uh, Laura and Iris, um, is the will and, and the search of using the tool, yes, not okay. This is an exercise. No, no. Just starting to think. Okay, how how can I use this into my favor? How can I apply? How do I mold? Yes, these tools. They're tools. Yeah. So what Yoru is doing, which I see, you know, I, I take it, uh, you know, humorously, but I, I see it's ex excellently done, and more and and, it is, uh, and, and more especially it is because it's more inside of composition, should do the same, uh, is to explore the possibilities of, of what these two, you know, devices brings to us. So he was saying, well, yes, I landed the seventh, can be, you know, held and maintained, so this is, well, I mean, I imagine because the second degrees on the weakest part of the beat, yes, so, he said, well, this is, I'm, I'm assuming this, yes, uh, Kind of not a real note or not that important, so it can it can be held. Yes, mm -hmm. well, it doesn't resolve, but I mean, but but th those those things that he's thinking, he said, how can I use this? Yes, how can I apply in real world? Yes, how can I from the rules that we learned? Yes, how can I use it to my favor? Yes, uh, which is great. Yeah, but I would. I would be very interested in you at some point. Parallel fifth. But you have the parallel fifth, you have a problem, yes. Yeah, but if you. 
Yeah, Maybe. Yeah. Best impression. Mm. Do this. Mm. I don't know. Mm. I mean. Oh, it's perfect as it is. Yeah. yeah you... I mean, maybe this. Yeah, maybe. Ah, you know. uh, no. The gap. Um. But the gap. Fine. Yeah, no, like this is fine. Yeah. Yeah, because okay. at some point, I mean, the, what, what you what you try, what you did was say, okay, I hold that tension, that seventh that is not resolved. That's extremely clever, and, and it is um, if that is what what. You see in compositions, yes, and Bach, for example, yes, although he was Baroque, yeah, Baroque composer, and he and he was was uh, interested more in, in, in each voice, but he that he did have that notion, not maybe as a harmony as a whole, but yes, the resolution of that voice that it was not resolved, and it's held, and it's held. And you're waiting, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you put the E, but in another, in another chord. I say, yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, that insistence, but for, uh, okay, seven. No, seven, no, no, you didn't resolve, no, again. No. But at some point, that voice has to resolve. When it does it, oh. The next one, <laughs> the other uh, blue one, would you take it as a resolution, the soul above? doesn't resolve immediately, but in the quiver after. Well, I have had something to say about that. Yes. And, but we're going to learn that. I see that you, 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 you took, again, very seriously the, the exploration of the melody, in which is almost contrapuntal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the resolutions, yes, you resolve this G, yeah, which is, was actually from, this is a seven. You hold it again and say, now one more beat. Yes, but... One, the intention of holding that, yes, you will prepare the G. You have a G as a, as a seven. You don't resolve it immediately, yeah? So then you have a leap, a uh, skip, sorry. And then this resolution is not that convincing. Mm. That's my only part. And convincing in, in which sense? In harmonic rhythm like, yes? Uh, not it's not convincing because I said because it's in a weakest part of the beat, yes. Although it's in a third beat, yes, which is is the the most strong. It's on the, I mean, you gave less importance, yes, because if you put a chord in the weakest part, it's you the one that's saying, okay, this chord is not that important, yes, mm -hmm. proportionally. So the, the seventh appeared in the second half of the first bit, so I thought can you on the second half of the third bit, but maybe not. Uh, the, if the you half. want a proper, proper resolution harmonic wise, yes, and remember that we are still trying to do something structural with your harmony, yes. Kind of we are we are we are getting into the realm of the of the melodic ornamental, but still, yes, um, even if, if, if you see, uh, again, we're going to see more examples in, uh, in counterpoint, but if you see the structure of the harmony in the pieces, even in Chopin, yes, mm. that you might believe that it's always oh, so crazy. If they have dissonances, they resolve them. Mm. In, in the next, I mean, if you have a dissonance, if you have a dissonance in this case, a dissonance, yes, but the seven is considered a dissonance. And then you resolve it in on a beat that you really feel that is important. You really feel that, oh, you know, okay, mm -hmm. it's gone. Yeah. Uh, if not, it, it it's something in your brain that happens that you, you didn't feel the resolution. So it, it's something that gets pendant, let's say, yes, in your brain. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Where's the resolution? Yeah. But. I'm going to listen to it once because it's a beautiful uh, word. Correct me for the mean the fa. It's what? Sir? Fun. Ah, the this mean. one. Second. Yeah. Okay, uh, you want that? Uh, no. Uh, mm, I'm prepared seventh, but I guess it's fine. Uh, yeah, leave it, leave it, leave it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's explain. Let's go wide. Come on. <laughs> Very good. Yeah? 
very good. Uh, very good cadence as well. Yes, uh, very well done. Counterpoint, yes, in between the, um, the, the bass and then the soprano, yes. Uh, also very active. Climax, yes, in bar seven, which is the usual thing, yes. Yeah, so, um, except with these minor things, I don't have anything much. Mm -hmm. Do you notice that the uh, 164 that was going to go to the dominant? Yes. But it didn't. It went to the second, and then it went to the dominant. Yes. But, well, that's, well, that's, uh, well, I, I didn't mention that specifically, but what I mentioned is, I don't know if you, if you, if you saw it, uh, Laura, uh, the, that intention, yes, the clear intention of having, okay, I have this harmony, I'm going to use it into my favor. <laughs> yes, and that's.